Hello there everybody and welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here bringing you part 2 of our end of season 1 review of Robin Hood in the Dutch second tier. But before we get into the nitty gritty of the Kirken Campion Divise, a quick reminder that this is your one stop shop for all things international and small club management and football manager. So make sure you've liked this video, you subscribe to the channel, you've got the bell on for notifications so you don't miss any of the action. Remember, we've got that channel target of reaching 2,000 subs as soon as possible, so your help in getting there is much appreciated. But now let's jump in at April 2022 and find out how Robin Hood's season came to an end. After our mighty cup run and big time match under the bright lights of Philips Stadion, we faced the harsh realities of life in the second tier. The third period brought matches against many of the top teams in the division. And again, we struggled to get wins, meaning we dropped back a little in the overall standings. However, heading into the fourth period, I was optimistic. We were unbeaten in our first three games without a goal conceded. And with our remaining games of the season, with the exception of FC MN, against teams close to or below us in the league, I began to wonder if there might be a small chance we could just sneak to the top of the standings and get into the playoffs. And one man was determined to get us there. Dord van der Kust. Okay, here we go. Markello, Seedorf, come on. Get the balls in, come on. Van der Kust. Good, Markello making the overlapping run. Gets the cross in and it's van der Kust again. Pinyas has been excellent in the latter part of the season. Van der Kust with the goal. Wow, what a well-worked goal that was. Good, then we can relax a little bit. Fitz Jim, van der Kust. Get in. Remember, in the press conference before the game, what did they say about Van der Kust? He's not a great fit for your team style. Why do you persist in choosing him? Well, that's why he's just scored twice to give us a 2-0 lead. Yeah, I guess Holland is a, it must be difficult. If you're not one of the big three, uh, you're always just, oh, Van der Kust, Van der Kust again. Yes. Come on, you can do this here. Van Kins, get the cross in. Okay, Van der Kust. Van der Kust. What a player. They're open for a counter-attack. Van der Kust, Pinyas, finally gets a goal. He's had a little bit of a goal drought. Van der Kust has been picking up the slack, but this time turns provider. Fitz Jim only scores from free kicks usually, not from open play. Right, De La Vega plays in Van der Kust. Van der Kust. Van der Kust is the man. Shame that we haven't been able to take the lead here. Of course, we've had a goal disallowed. We've hit the post. And now we've gone 2-1 down with five minutes left. So that Den Bosch defeat ended our hopes of topping the periodic table. Despite Van der Kust being in his element. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Chemistry joke. We would finish the season strongly with a draw against table toppers FC MN, which confirmed them as champions, and the cheeky buggers had the trophy ceremony all the way over in Paramaribo in front of our fans, and an end-of-season victory over MVV, all of which led to a highly impressive 11th-placed finish. The summer will see a thinning out of the squad, and in the next club episode we will take a look at new transfers, as well as some of the hot prospects in our youth team. The next actual episode, however, will focus again on the national side, as we compete in the CONCACAF Nations League with a very much winnable group in Division B. So to make sure you don't miss any of the Surrey Boys action, make sure you've subscribed to the channel. If you've liked this video, you've got the bell on for notifications. I'm Dodgy Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.